Well, good afternoon, everyone. Meteorologist Michael Wilhite here with Southern Indiana Weather. It's about 1140 here Eastern Time on uh, Sunday morning, and I want to provide you just a really brief update here sponsored by High Voltage Mobile DJ Service. You can contact Nathan at 630-9465 or visit him on the web at djhighvoltage.com. All right, here's the mess, folks. We've got the first wave moving out. Brought some pretty significant sleet and freezing rain totals to some of us. I know my trees in the front yard are... are uh, covered with ice and it sure looks pretty thankfully nothing has uh, uh, fallen yet we'll hope it stays that way the good news is, is i think the most of the freezing rain is now moving out of the area the bad news is is that we've got a second wave that's forming down here you can see it over arkansas starting to gain strength this will be the main wave that's going to move through tonight and you can see it's tracking right through our direction going to probably have a little bit of a lull and action a little bit of a break this afternoon which is a good thing we can certainly use that by the time later in the afternoon comes, say 4, 5, maybe 6 o'clock on, that's when we're going to start to see some of those. Uh, I think by then it probably won't be freezing rain for us. I think our atmosphere will have cooled enough that we're probably going to be dealing more with sleet, which would be certainly better than freezing rain. But we'll take that, and I think it's going to be a sleet changing over to a snow scenario pretty quickly after that. And it looks like we could be in still for some pretty decent heavy snow totals based on the way things look. All right, let me show you temperatures real quick here. And uh, you can see in the area that we are certainly cold enough for anything to freeze. We are now below freezing area wide. Freezing, rain, freezing line has already made it over to uh, the Louisville area. So now we, as I say, we are below freezing area wide now. So anything that falls is going to stick for us. Very cold up to our north. You're looking at 19, 20 degrees up here in Indianapolis. We're sitting uh, about 28 towards the Ohio River here and then lower to mid-20s as you go a little bit further north. So certainly this mess as it heads our way today is going to have some potent effect to it. Let's time it all out. I want to show you the first here what we call the HER model, the HRRR, the High Res Rapid Reflesh. It is the highest resolution model that we have and I want to take you through it and just kind of give you an idea of of where we stand on this. Here was the snow as it moved through this morning and there's that break in the action. Here's future radar for about noon Eastern time today and you see there's that break in the action that we are right now. A Little bit of that snow developing down here and, and sleet to our west. Watch how this moves through towards us. It starts to blow up in intensity as we roll on through the afternoon. As I said, that main wave is going to be much more potent than this wave. Got some snow that starts to move through more of the central portions of Indiana. Then, as that main wave blows up, watch how it moves right over us. But notice, as it gets near to us, it starts to change over more to snow. So that would be good. That would cut down on our sleet accumulations if that uh, does happen. But that would certainly raise the, the, raise the bar for a little bit of snow totals there as well. Had been forecasting 3 to 7 inches of snow. Still think we're on track for at least 3 to 5 of that. I would not be surprised for some places to see closer towards those seven inches but uh, really um, the lighter snow accumulations are going to be towards Indianapolis and north pretty much all of us here in the southern part of the state I think are going to see some pretty decent snow totals out of this tonight and um, it may not look quite as impressive on radar and it, it does look fairly impressive but not as impressive as I have seen in the past but the biggest thing about this is because our atmosphere is going to be so cold by the time that we get to this the snowfall that falls is probably not going to be a heavy wet snow it's going to be very light and fluffy snow light and fluffy snow sticks and accumulates much faster um, because there's just more volume to it so uh, an inch of uh, liquid that falls out of the sky and in the form of snow Normally that would be 10 inches under a wet snow, but that would be 15 under a heavy, fluffy snow. I don't think we're going to see uh, 15 inches of snow out of this by any means. But whenever we talk about snow ratios, the typical snow ratio is 10 to 1, where uh, 1 inch of liquid is 10 inches of snow. Well, we're probably going to be seeing 15 to 1 ratios out of this event later tonight. So, uh, And because of that, again, I think we're going to have some of those heavier snow totals. I think my 3 to 7 is on track, probably more like 3 to 5, but I think some of us could get some of those isolated pockets so we'll keep it at that for the way it sounds all right let me take you through the high resolution nam future radar real quick as well it's not quite as high res as the her model but it still gives a pretty good idea there's the break in the action all right here's noon and you see a pretty decent break in the action here really as you go through most of the day by eight o'clock tonight here you go and you're starting to get the main brunt of it to move in it doesn't change us over till snow in the area really into about 10, 11 o'clock tonight, though. So it changes over to snow much later than what the HER model does. Um, we'll have to see, but you can see some pretty decently snow uh, 
pretty decent snow through that as well, and then it lasts much of the night before it starts to fizzle out. Now the HER model just does not go as far in time. The latest we have on the HER model is up till 11 o'clock tonight. So, uh, you know, this is probably going to last through the overnight hours. Again, accumulations on this look pretty decent as far as that's concerned. Here's the latest snow map that I generated last night. I'm not going to make any changes to it. Uh, I had predicted up to 0.15 inches of freezing rain. I think that was pretty accurate for most of us, although I think I did see a few reports of a quarter inch of freezing rain, though they were closer to the Ohio River, and that's closer to that uh, heavier zone anyway. So again, not the ice Mageddon like uh, some of the models are trying to predict days in advance. That's a good thing. Keep our fingers crossed that we won't see any more of it this afternoon. But then three to seven inches of snow area wide in this area in the blue is what I'm expecting. One to four inches snow and sleet north of Indianapolis, and I don't think you're going to have a ton of accumulation up there. You've already gotten, this is, uh, by the way, what you would have gotten through the whole storm, so that's counting what you already got last night. I don't think you're going to see a ton more snow after this. Most of the snow is going to be suppressed more to the south because this main wave is, is going to hit more of us in the southern part of the state than the northern part of the state as far as that goes. All right, don't forget you can track this live on our webpage, you can go to southernindianaweather.com, then click on the interactive radar button. We've got a great interactive radar product for you to use as you go throughout this. You can track the day. Uh, you can track this mess as it moves in. You've got some great zoom tools as well, so you can see exactly where these uh, tools are. You can take off these, uh, you can take off these uh, uh, little dots as well for precipitation type and be able to see it. There's the mixed precipitation coming in down here. And there's some snow up there. Again, expect this to change to snow as it moves our way eventually. And uh, probably from 6 o'clock on is whenever it looks like we are sort of in danger with that. All right, I think that'll about do it for this uh, quicker update today, folks. Again, we've got a mess headed our way. Unfortunately, it's, uh, it's not going to be a pretty picture tonight. But again, I think most of the freezing rain is out of the picture for today. We'll keep our fingers crossed and hope that holds. Looks like from here on out during the rest of the day, Maybe a little bit of freezing drizzle this afternoon, but then tonight the biggest the biggest main wave, the big show, is going to be a snow and sleet scenario. So again, three to five inches is what I'm expecting for most of us, up to seven inches in some places, but three to five for the most part. All right, that's it, folks, for Southern Indiana weather. I'm meteorologist Michael Wilhite. Have a great day. We'll be tracking here and providing updates throughout the day. Stay tuned.